Hello, dear friends, with you, Naya. I know that some of you are very fond of industrial assemblies. So, especially for you, I found one small but very useful modic. It is called solar energy, that is, solar energy. It exists for the Minecraft version starting from 112.2 and ending with the newest 1.18.1 at the moment. As I said, the mod is small and does not add anything superfluous to the game, so if you need a simple mod exclusively for the extraction of energy in Forge, then solar energy will suit you perfectly. And, by the way, all crafts in this fashion use exclusively vanilla resources, which, in the case of a simple assembly, not designed to complicate crafts, can be considered a serious plus. So, there are six types of solar generators in fashion. The simplest one is a basic solar generator. It is crafted from four stones, two iron ingots, and three basic solar panels, which in turn are crafted from glass panels, coal, iron, and a basic energy core, which can be made from one coal and four glass panels. A conventional solar panel generates one fan, that is, one unit of forge energy, and this is very little. A slightly more powerful energy source is a conventional solar generator. It is already capable of producing 10 F per tick. And to craft it, you still have to craft a basic generator and also add three ordinary solar panels that can be made from redstone, basic solar panels, and a conventional energy core. Such kernels are created in a special device, but I'll tell you about this in a little while. The intermediate solar generator is already capable of generating a fairly decent amount of energy, as much as 100 F Zotic. And such a generator is being crafted like this, using a conventional generator and three intermediate solar panels. You can make intermediate solar panels out of gold, ordinary solar panels, and an intermediate energy core. An advanced solar generator generates a thousand F in one tick, and is crafted from an intermediate generator. With the addition of advanced solar panels, the crafting of which is like this. As you can see, it is no longer very cheap. An elite solar generator is capable of generating 10,000 F per tick, and this is very decent. However, the crafting of such a device is very, very expensive, as you can see for yourself. And finally, the unique generator is the most powerful solar generator in this mod. It is capable of generating as much as 100,000 units of 4 energy per tick, but it is also super expensive to craft such a device. Now let's look at devices that allow you to accumulate and save all the generated energy. To do this, there are 12 types of batteries in fashion. They all work on the same principle and differ only in how much energy is placed in them. The base battery holds 10,000 units in a forge of energy. Crafting requires a basic energy core and a basic battery panel, which is crafted using lead ingots. I will tell you how to get lead ingots a little later. An ordinary battery is capable of accumulating 100,000 pounds, and its craft is like this. Then, there is an intermediate battery, which holds a million F and is crafted like this. An advanced battery holds 10 million pounds. Crafting such a battery is not cheap at all. Like this, an elite battery is capable of storing 100 million pounds, and such a powerful battery is being crafted in this way. The unique battery is being crafted like this. It's not cheap, I'll tell you. But if you consider that she can accumulate a billion units of forge energy, then perhaps her craft is not so expensive. But, if you think that this is the most powerful battery, then you are deeply mistaken. In fashion, there is still a much more capacious energy storage, and they belong to the class of dense batteries. And the energy reserves that they are able to accumulate are simply incredible. I can hardly even name such figures. So, a dense base battery 
is capable of accumulating one trillion units of forge energy. It's just an unrealistic figure with twelve zeros. And she is very confused about crafting. So if you plan to build such a battery in survival, I recommend installing a G-Mod so that you can spy on crafting right in the game. Otherwise, it will be extremely difficult to play. Of course, I will leave a link to download this mod in the description under the video. A dense conventional battery accumulates 10 trillion F and is crafted like this. Then, there is a dense intermediate battery, which is already capable of accumulating 100 trillion units of forge energy. Her craft is like this. A dense advanced battery accumulates some sky-high amounts of energy in the amount of one quadrillion F dot, by the way. The Latin designation of a quadrillion is the letter P dot, so don't think I was wrong. I had to go to Wikipedia on purpose to deal with all these unrealistic numbers. A dense elite battery accumulates 10 quadrillion F and is crafted like this. And finally, a dense, unique battery. This is the most capacious battery that only exists in this fashion. She is able to accumulate 100 quadrillion units of forge energy, and her craft is like this. Well, the generators and batteries have been sorted out, but you will need an energy cable to connect them to each other. He's crafting like this. It connects to either side of the solar generator. You can even put the generator directly on the cable itself. In order for the energy of the solar generator to flow into the battery, you need to connect the cable to any of the sides of the battery, with the exception of this one with a cross and a dot. It is necessary to connect a cable here if you want to output energy from the battery to some device, for example, to an energy collector, which we will talk about now. So, an energy collector is needed to create lead ingots and energy cores. His crafting is simple. You will need six stones and three basic cores. Having installed such a collector, you need to connect it to an energy source. That's it. Now we can manufacture advanced energy cores and lead. To do this, it is enough to put the necessary resources inside the collector. Let's try to get the lead. We go into the device interface with the right mouse button and put an iron ingot in the upper slot. As we can see, the process has started. As soon as the blue strip is completely filled, the iron will turn into lead. By the way, the speed of the device depends on the amount of energy transferred to it. So if you want the device to work faster, connect the collector to powerful batteries or a solar generator. Advanced energy cores can be obtained in the same way. Just put the base core in the upper slot and get the usual one. If we put an ordinary kernel, we get an intermediate one and so on. I hope you understand the principle. By the way, here it is written on the side how much energy it will take to produce this item. Note that the more complex the core you want to make, the more energy you will have to expend. That's actually all there is in this fashion. As I said, there is nothing superfluous in it, only generators, cable, and energy storage, and very, very roomy. I think this mod will fit well even in not too heavy assemblies, which can be mastered even by rather weak computers, as well as players who do not like excessively complex technical mods. Well, at this point, I'll probably ask for your comments about the mod, as well as my well-deserved Lakosec, because I tried very hard. Well, next time I'll show you a mod for which today's solar panels will just be very useful. By the way, try to guess what kind of mod it is. Be sure to leave your guess in the comments. Whoever guesses will get a heart from me. And that's it for today. See you soon, dear friends. Bye-bye-bye.